consumer fraud. A few days ago we were packing away shopping and I had this box in my hand and I wanted to try some of the rusks. Now when I opened the box, turns out the packet only goes up to about three quarters of the box and then the actual packet is only filled another three quarters so the actual content of this box is only about halfway because it's three quarters then you have the bag and from those three quarters another three quarters so that's the contents about half of this box yet when you go to the shops and you want to buy this you buy it because look it's such a nice big box you know you want to buy this then you, when you get home it turns out only half is full um, you know, other examples is where you buy yourself a packet of chips, I'm sure you've noticed, you open it and then you actually look into depth and only much later does the chips actually start. And I remember for instance also where I bought myself some ice cream as a kid in a little cup and I'm eating with a little spoon and I want to eat but suddenly my spoon gets stuck and I'm like, what the fuck, there's something in my cup. Then I turn around and it's actually, you know, this is the cup, but the bottom is actually already here, like that, but they just make like an extra long rim to make it look as if you got yourself a nice big cup of ice cream. So these are just a few examples of how people fuck with you, so you will buy whatever it is they want to sell you, and <laughs> it works. So maybe a cool suggestion would be for in an equal money system is to not allow any deceptive advertisement or sizes of boxes but just only show the product in a transparent bag or whatever and that you're only allowed to sell your actual product and not a box with half of it being air.